If you have watched part 1 and part 2 of this video lesson, you would have discovered two methods of categorizing waves. Now, we are going to look at how we can graphically represent waves by drawing either a displacement distance graph or displacement time graph. Here is a wave traveling towards the right. The envelope is moving to the right. The particles are oscillating vertically. If I take a snapshot of this wave, this is what I get. I take this sinusoidal shape and put it onto a graph with displacement on the vertical axis and distance on the horizontal axis. What this is showing us is that at this instant in time, each particle has displaced this much from the equilibrium. The largest displacement that each particle can make from the equilibrium is called the amplitude. Another quantity that we can measure from a displacement distance graph is the wavelength. Okay, now we have a wave frozen in time, but we know that if we unfreeze time, the wave will propagate to the right immediately. I'm going to draw a dot line in red to show where the wave might be in the next moment in time, let's say after two seconds. With the dot line drawn, I can now predict where all the individual particles are going to be after these two seconds. Remember, they can only move vertically up or down. So each particle is either going to move up or down to match up with the dot to line. What if I isolate just one single particle on this wave and watch how it changes its displacement over time? Well, I could draw more waves with dotted lines, but that's just a complete waste of time. So instead, I'm going to plot the next type of graphs known as a displacement time graph. Although a displacement time graph of a single particle is also a sine wave, it is a completely different graph compared to a displacement distance graph. To prove to yourself that a particle traces out a sinusoidal shape over time, you can do this at home. Take a pen and hold it down on a sheet of paper. Ask someone else to pull the sheet of paper to the left. At the same time, you move your pen vertically up and down. What kind of graph does it give you? A displacement time graph tells us two quantities. It tells us the amplitude, just like a displacement distance graph. But on the time axis, it gives us the time period. The time period of a wave is the time it takes for the particle to complete one single cycle of oscillation. The inverse of this is the frequency. Frequency is the number of cycles that can occur within one second. The unit of time period is seconds, and the unit of frequency is hertz. I hope that you found all three parts of the video lesson useful in helping you understand the fundamentals of wave physics. Thanks for watching!